primarily to the good, hard-working people in the city of St. Louis and communities just like UAW. Otherwise, I could not be representing you downtown today. I want to thank you for that before I go on to anything else. Yeah! Yeah! You know, this fight that you're fighting today is a fight for UAW. It's a fight for the working men and women in this union. But not just UAW, it's for America. When you think about some of the things that we take for granted, you think about the 40-hour work week, you think about safe work environments, you think about vacation time and all those things that we take for granted today. Those things were not brought to Americans on a bed of roses. They just weren't. They were brought to men and women of America, and we take it for granted today, and they were brought to us by the unions through fights that were happening just like here today. And that's why we're fighting. So as you march today, all I have to ask of you is this. Think about what this is going to mean for family and kids in the future. Think about those fights that they fought for just those basic necessities, basic fair wages so you can raise your family and pay your house note and put groceries on the table. Think about that so that you can spend quality time with your kids because it is not a natural thing and it would not happen without the working men and women and the hard work that you guys are putting in today and the fights that you're fighting today. It would not happen. It's not going to come to you on a bed of roses. It's just not. All right. So, as you march today, think about that. Think about the kids and everybody that's going to come to us in the future. Thanks again for everything that you do for hard-working men and women across this nation. Yeah.